In this tutorial we are going to show you how to manage centralized configurations in microservice architecture. In the previous videos, we learned about Eureka Server, Config Server, and Eureka Client Dependency and Configurations. Let's build and run these services. You can see Config Service registered in Eureka Server. If you are beginner to this series, please go through previous videos and check out source codes from GitHub repository. This is the architecture we are going to develop throughout this video series. Let's stop all the running services and start development. According to our microservice architecture diagram we should have five services. 1. Discovery Service, also known as Eureka Server. 2. Config Service, also known as Config Server. 3. Gateway Service, also known as API Gateway. 4. Auth Service, also known as Authentication and Authorization Server. 5. Student Service, this is the service which we are going to use as Resource Server. At the moment we have already created Eureka Service and Config Service. Now, I'm going to create Student Service. This service should include two dependencies. One. Eureka Client Dependency, to register in Eureka Server. 2. Config Client Dependency, to get centralized configurations. Let's add Eureka Server URL and Config Server URL to Student Service. As we mentioned in the config service video, there are three options to add centralized configurations in the Spring Cloud config server. 1. Class path. 2. File store. 3. Git repo. For the initial development we use class path configuration option for the centralized configurations in our application. Go to config service. Create folder as config inside resources folder. Create student service.yml file inside config folder. The purpose of this process, to store all the configurations of student service like database configurations, log configurations etc. inside config service.
After running applications, you can test use centralized configurations through config service. In the future video, we hope to integrate database with student service and we'll see how student service pick database configurations from config service. Finally, let's remove server port from student service YML file and add port to student service.yml which is located in config service and let student service to pick port from centralized config. You can see, student service working properly. It's picking port from centralized configuration. I will add student service project to our Git repository, you can check out our source code from our GitHub repository.
Thank you for watching, have a nice day.